Hey guys, really quick before the video starts, where have I been? Well, I've picked up a new hobby, struggled with some ADHD fueled complete lack of any sort of motivation, and filmed a video with two amazing creators, Lee and Ren, I'll link their stuff in the description. It was over a month in the works just for my audio to sound like this. Hey, we forgot to flip a coin to see who goes first. All right, guys, now we're going to be flipping a coin to see who's going first. <laughs> what the I know why you clicked on this video. You want to see me make some mac and ramen. Let's take a walk downstairs and meet up with pre-haircut Abe. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be making one of my signature dishes, I call it mac and ramen. It's one of my favorite foods to make and people are always like, hey, why mac and ramen? Like that sounds disgusting, how would that even work? Well today I'm going to show you. What do you need for mac and ramen? Well, you need mac and cheese, you need a package of ramen, you need some shredded cheese, you need some almond milk, regular milk works, I just have almond milk, half a stick of butter, something to mix with, and a pot, and some water, obviously. Let's get this boiling. So normally I like to fill it up about halfway and boil that water up. While we're waiting, I figured I would talk with you guys how did I come up with the idea for mac and ramen? Well, that's actually a good question. One night many years ago, I was uh, blowing some bubbles and afterwards was getting kind of hungry. I couldn't decide between mac and cheese or ramen, so I just decided to make both at the same time. The result was mac and ramen and it was legendary. It tasted like nothing I've ever tasted before. It was thick and it was creamy and the texture was just unbeatable. And I knew that from that moment on, this was my legacy. <laughs> my mouth is watering just thinking about it. Hey Abe, how's that water coming along? Looks like his lobotomy is acting up. Abe, your water is boiling. What? Oh, shit. Um, when the water's boiling, you're gonna open up your mac and cheese, take, take out the cheese package, and then dump your mac and cheese in there. Just like that. Oh, and also set your timer for four minutes. Uh, it's very important that you set it for four minutes and not the time that it says on the package of the mac and cheese. You'll see why in a bit. Once the water begins to boil again, you can stop stirring and resume whatever time passing activity you were taking part in. Okay, while those noodles are cooking, let's take a second to talk about the sub wall. The sub wall is a beautiful mural that I have put together of all of my wonderful subscribers. That's you guys. All you have to do to get onto the sub wall is really simple. Step one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Step two, screenshot. Step three, follow my Instagram. Step four is send me the screenshot along with a picture of yourself that you want me to draw. It doesn't have to be of you. It could be of a dog, some random meme, or Barack Obama. As you can see, I'm not the best artist so please don't be offended if i um royally fuck up your beautiful face i'm sorry obama all right i think those noodles are almost done so let's go check back in downstairs and you might want to turn the heat down a little bit because it's gonna boil over the top strainer i hardly know her he's He's goofing off, but he doesn't even realize he set the timer for four hours instead of four minutes. Oh, shit. How did I set the timer for four fucking hours? Okay, it's been four minutes, apparently. Let's put- So then, what you do, it's been four minutes. You put this ramen just right there in the pot with the mac and cheese. This is innovative technology. You really bury the ramen inside of the mac and cheese. Some people say salt your water, but I feel like the, the cheese and the butter, like everything, it has enough salt already. Oh, oh crap. And then you set your timer for another three minutes. God damn it. So it's come up to a boil. And while that's going, you want to get a strainer, just like this one, to strain all the noodles out into the sink. Let's check back in with Abe upstairs and see what he's doing. Now introducing the host of your show, Abe! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> thank you guys, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Stop it, you're too kind. <laughs> 
Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the classic game Bop or Flop! Yeah! I feel like we should all know how this game works by now, but for those of you living under a f***ing rock... <laughs> I'll explain it to you one more time. I'm gonna play you guys a TikTok and you're gonna guess if it is a bop, meaning it has many likes and many views, or a flop, meaning it got practically no attention whatsoever. What do you get if you win? Well, you get to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you lose, then you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But it's not your choice this time. Who's ready to play? <laughs> yeah! As always, I'm your host, A Babe. Let's get right into it. Hey, Chris, roll the neck, roll, playing and clip. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the phrase, look, mommy, poo poo, to kind of show, try to show what I'm doing vocally. Look, mommy, poo poo. Look, mommy, poo poo. Look, mommy. Look, mommy. Oh, wasn't that great? What a sweet old man just having a good time. What are we thinking? Is it a bop or a flop? Lock in your answers. <laughs> if you said Bop. You are correct! Great job! Or if you guess wrong, you're a dumb little piece of shit. Oh. Sorry guys, I did way too much pain before this shoot and my wife is leaving me! This microphone isn't even real! Charlemagne, you better roll that next clip or I swear to God I'm gonna throat. throat! All right, Charlemagne, great clip. I don't want any water. Get the fuck out of here. How are we thinking? It was a bop or a flop? <laughs> it doesn't even matter anymore. Bernice. They're my kids too, Bernice. Aww. No, f this show, man. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. This was Bob or Flop. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great night. Subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go get a <laughs> rip. I'll see you guys later. Really, you know you're doing it right when all everything starts all getting mixed together like that. Where like the ramen and the mac and cheese noodles sort of start to become one. Now I gotta hurry up and strain this because I lost track of time. Never mind, it's not that bad. <laughs> All right, it's done cooking. Let's strain it out real quick. And some people are like, no, you can't strain all the water out. Don't strain all the water out. It does not matter that much. So here we have our noodle solution. And take your butter. Butter is always the first thing that I put in there. Everything's still so warm, so the butter melts in real easily. You can kind of chop stuff up a little bit because the ramen is, is going to be very like tangled up with each other. It might seem kind of separated from everything. When really it just wants to be loved, it just wants to be included. I dropped a noodle. Oh my god, I dropped another noodle. I'm gonna go ahead and put that milk in there. Now usually with milk, I'll put in definitely like a lot more than you think you would. Not only because we're using almond milk as a substitute, but because we also have much more, much denser capacity of noodle. Keep stirring, keep stirring. And once the milk has kind of thoroughly coated all of the noodles a little bit, take your cheese powder. Get it all in there. Ooh. Get your ramen powder. Get that in there. Ooh -wee. Yeah, boy. So, okay. Here's, here's what we have right now. It's a little bit dry. 
dry, it can use some more milk, and I'll show you why I think that. So I'm just right here, I'm gonna lift, and it kind of gives me a liquid down at the bottom. And it's kind of, I do want oh, just a little bit of liquid down at the bottom. That was a little bit more milk than I meant to put. Alright, and then this is also where you put in your shredded cheese. Fun fact, you know, I used to be lactose intolerant and I literally just ate and consumed so much dairy product that I just, I thugged it out. And that, oh! Once you get to this point, oh, the shredded cheese starts making it stringy. Oh. From here, if you want to, I like to put in some, what is this, oregano? Sure, why not? Some pepper never hurts. And then, this is my secret ingredient right here. It's really spicy. The, the bulk of the work is done. Now we just need to make it look presentable. Here's, here's what we do, we scoop some out, get it into a bowl. You can't leave any pieces hanging over the edge because that's not professional. tutorial would it be without a taste test at the end? So this time I went with the chili instead of the chicken seasoning. Left a lot of room for the other elements of the seasons to- The overall palate is very balanced. Might be the best goddamn thing I've ever eaten, especially when you consider how much milk and butter- Still made this, this, this exquisite of a dish? Anyways guys, like and subscribe.